Hello everyone, in this part of the tutorial I am going to show you how to download GBIF data. Let's suppose that I want to model the distribution of the cougar. So in each toolbox you have this data menu where you will find GBIF data and here you have options to enter the species name and the search limit for this species. In this case the cougar is Puma and the epithet of the of the species is concolor. So I write the, the, the species name and then limit my search for to look for 5000 records. I just press the button search with data and wait some seconds and it will appear a data table with the information requested. So here is the information and as you can see there is two, two columns having longitude and latitude data, scientific name and all, and all the other fields that GIF has. So for cleaning duplicates I have options here and let's say we found 3600 data records and I don't want the, the duplicates Given a threshold distance. This is a distance that that you consider a data point to be a duplicate. So I will choose a random a random distance, maybe one rate. This this distance is in rates. So for cleaning, I just will I just need to to press the button clean duplicates and from 3000 records now I have only 258 records so the next step uh, is going to the GB visualization if you want to see the trends in your and how your data points were recorded at least in GB you can have this time series data showing some countries the countries that that are have reported the the, the data in GBIF. I will put select uh, Mexico, Argentina, and United States, and let's play. So look how are the trends in reported records during the years. The next the next thing that you can do is just to see how many records from the whole BAT database come from the different countries that have reported. Here is a pie chart showing you how many records come from the United States, which is the, the, the biggest part of the pie. And I can also request a, a calendar of how the, the, records, the, the records were reported during the years. For this year is 2005, but I can change in uh, to 2020 and look in this in this uh, date there were three reports and there were from United States and some of from Mexico. You have an option to clean your data using a dynamic map here. Uh, is the, the menu, go to dynamic map and you will see that some information are wrong for example this, 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 this data point we know that the cougar is a terrestrial species so I don't need to model with this information the, 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 the species distribution so for cleaning that data point I just need to use this this menu where I will enter the data point given this ID to show the ID just click on the point and do this and just press clean data points and now the data points are not in my database so there, there are a lot of points that may be wrong 
but this is just an exercise to show you what are the functionalities of the application. Finally, if you have a polygon which is uh, of maybe is a distribution, the polygon that you know that you trust that there is the, 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 the distribution of the species is well represented in that polygon, you can choose to to clean the, the data points using a polygon. Let's say that this is my polygon of the area that I know that the species lives there in. I can create the, the polygon by, by pressing use the polygon of M to filter data. And then just, I, I will request points in polygon and see that I just have the, 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 the data points that lie inside this polygon. You can also upload your own polygon by selecting the, the, the directory where your polygon is. And that's it for this tutorial. You have many options, but many options, but I just wanted to show you some of them because uh, there is a tutorial in the github page where there is a detailed explanation of each of these stages thank you